What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about the auto sprint in Battlefield 2042. There's a lot of players saying they don't understand exactly how it works because technically you still have to click the L3 stick in twice and you have to double tap it to be able to engage the auto sprint. But there is an easy way to fix this and it will be more like a traditional auto sprint you would experience in other games like Warzone, uh, other type of you know, Call of Duty multiplayer games. And there's a few first person shooters out there that have auto sprint option. So what you're going to want to do is go into the controller settings and go to on foot. And once you get to there, you want to go down to movement. So you will see the soldier sprint uh, option. So you're going to turn this on to toggle where it says soldier sprint. When it has double tap forward to sprint, turn that to auto sprint. And the sprint button itself will be automatically set to, I will show you real quickly, like this when you go in. So it'll show it where you have to click on L3. So what you're going to want to do, of course, is hit X. Uh, if you're on PlayStation, I think it's A on Xbox. Click this. And instead of pressing in the stick, just push it up. And I'll say, of course, do you still want to change the binding? And it will show that, that is the walk forward option. Hit bind anyway. And then it will just be the L stick that allows you to auto sprint. Of course, sprint to vault over is off and always use traversal sprint on. That way, anytime you move, you will be in traversal sprint automatically. So now when you're in a game, you don't have to double tap that L3 stick in to engage the auto sprint, to engage that traversal sprint. All you have to do is like nor walking normally in game. As soon as you start to push up on the stick, you will start to use the traversal sprint. If you don't put press it up all the way, you know, if you want to walk slower or speed down or slow down your speed that you're running, uh, all you have to do is just put less tension on the stick. So it's going to go from a walk to a jog. And then when you press it all the way up, you will go into that traversal sprint. That way you don't have to wear your button out. I, I prefer to have tack sprint on a type of tactical sprint because personally, I don't like wearing my controllers out earlier than they need to be. Uh, you know, uh, that was one big issue with PS4. I know some older Xbox controllers used to do it as well. You'll start getting a lot of stick drift if you're having to press in those sticks too often. This will prevent you from having to do that. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.